वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश थर्टी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज़ द मोटर एम इज कनेक्टेड टू स्पीड रिड्यूसर सी बाय ट्यूबुलर शाफ्ट एंड कपलिंग सो यू कैन सी दिस इज मोटर एम दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस स्पीड रिड्यूसर बाय कपलिंग इफ द मोटर सप्लाईज टू हंड्रेड हार्स पावर एंड रोटेट द शाफ्ट एट रेट सिक्सटी सिक्स हंड्रेड रिवॉल्यूशन पर सेकेंड सो पावर ऑफ मोटर इज ट्वेंटी हार्स पावर एंड इट्स रोटेट एट 600 हंड्रेड रिवॉल्यूशन पर सेकेंड द डायमीटर डिटरमाइन द डायमीटर मिनिमम एंड इनर एंड आउटर डायमीटर डी आई ऑफ द शॉर्ट इफ डी ओवर डी आई ओवर डी नॉट इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन दिस स्पीड रिड्यूसर इज ट्यूबुलर शॉर्ट हैविंग आउटर डायमीटर डी नॉट एंड इनर डायमीटर हैविंग दिस रेशो डी आई ओवर डी नॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द inner diameter and outer diameter of the shaft the shaft is made from material having allowable shearing stresses 12 ksi so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, power is equal to torque into angular velocity so angular velocity can be find as it is given at this is rotating 600 revolution per minute and we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian per revolution so that is equal to 600 multiply by 2 pi radian per revolution here we have 60 revolution and one revolution is this divide by One minute is equal to sixty second. So we will get W is equal to two three zero six, and that is equal to twenty into pi, and unit will be radian per second. And also we have power is given as twenty horsepower, and we know that one horsepower is equal to Five hundred fifty feet into pound per second. Okay, so twenty horsepower. Twenty multiply by one horsepower. So one horsepower is five fifty pounds into feet per second. So we will get eleven thousand. Feet into pound per second. This is power. Now you have both angular speed and power, so you can calculate torque. So torque is equal to power divided by angular speed. So power is eleven thousand divided by angular speed, which is twenty multiplied by pi. And when you convert it, you will get one seven five point zero seven. A unit will be pounds into feet. So when we convert this into inch, so one seventy five point zero seven multiplied by twelve, and now the unit will be pounds into inch. That will be equal to two one double zero point eight four pounds into inch okay so we have got the power what we will do is that we will move toward finding the maximum shearing stress it is given that allowable or maximum shearing stress is equal to torque into c divided by j so what we will do is we will find the j for tubular section for tubular section The J will be equal to pi by four, pi by two into C outer power four minus C inner power four. So we have been given outer diameter, which is C naught is equal to C naught is equal to D naught divided by two. So I will write D naught over two whole power. Four minus d i power d i over two power four. Okay, 
so j will be equal to pi by 2 into d naught power 4 over 16 minus d i power 4 over 16 clear since it is given that uh, d i over d naught is equal to 0 0.75 so d i over d naught is equal to 0 0.75 so implies that di is equal to 0 0.75 into d naught so i will replace it so j will become equal to pi by 2 into d naught power 4 over 16 minus j di will be equal to 0 0.75 into d naught power 4 over 16 okay so again when you solve this you will get j is equal to 0 0.0671 d naught power 4 so you have this polar moment of inertia in term of d naught is 0 0.0671 d naught power 4 okay and what is the C? C is equal to here. C is equal to D naught over 2. Because C is the maximum distance from neutral axis till the outermost. So C is equal to this. Now you have to put all the values in this formula. We have allowable sharing stress is equal to torque into C divided by J. So allowable sharing stress is in given data is 12 KSI. So you have to just put the value. So 12 into 10 is to power 3 is equal to torque. And the torque value is 2100. 2100.84 into C is D naught over 2. Clear. Divide by J which is equal to 0 0.0671 D power D naught power four again so you have all the values d naught is not known so when you calculate it for d naught so d naught will be equal to 1.0926 inch or you can say d naught is 1.09 inch okay this d naught will cut with this so we have d cube so you have to take d naught cube on on one side and all other term and then you have to take the cubic root on both side by using the calculator so from here you will get this d naught is 1.09 inch now now you know that di is equal to 0 0.75 times d naught here so you can just put the value 0 0.75 multiplied by 1.09 it will give you di and di will be equal to 0 0.819 inch so di is 0 0.819 inch so this is the inner diameter and this is the outer diameter and that was all about this problem 5-33 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching